Hello and welcome to ITV. In a widely anticipated victory, Russian President Vladimir Putin was re-elected for a fourth term on Sunday. Delighting supporters, dismaying detractors and triggering speculation over what lies in store for the Eastern European nation under six more years of the former KGB intelligence officer. During his 18 years leading Russia, four terms as a prime minister, Putin has entrenched authoritarian rule, executed plans for expansionism, and engendered both friends and foes on the global political stage. But like him or loathe him, Putin has emerged one of the world's most influential figures. Here are some highlights and lowlights of his role. As the youngest Russian leader since dictator Joseph Stalin, the 47-year-old Putin was sworn in as the country's second democratically elected president on May 7. A month later, he held a summit in Moscow with President Clinton. Despite signing a pair of arms control agreements, the two leaders failed to compromise on a national missile defense system. Russia and the U.S. engaged in tit-for-tat expulsions of 50 of each other's diplomats of accusations of spying in what was big as such an espionage since 1986. Putin downplayed the seriousness of the spats, saying he did not think it would have big consequences. Putin voiced strong opposition to U.S. military action against Iraq arguing that Iraq had not supported the Taliban in Afghanistan and warning that an attack on Iraq could undermine the global coalition against terrorism. In the same year, Putin faced terrorists on his doorstep when armed Chechens seized 850 hostages in Moscow theater. He authorized the military to pump an undisclosed chemical agent into the building in a port rescue attempt, in which about 130 hostages died. Putin moved to reign in the media with the closure of the last independent Russian TV station. New media rules prompted protests over censorship and increased restrictions of journalists' freedom. New laws made it illegal for the media to comment on elections. In March, Putin campaigned as an independent and decisively won second term. Putin galvanized the pride and patriotism of ordinary Russians by promising to restore the country's greatness and regain its prestige and power on the world stage. I consider the development of Russia as a free and democratic state to be our main political and ideological goal, he told the Russian Federal Assembly on 25 April. Putin called on the Palestinian Sunni Islamic fundamentalist organization Hamas to acknowledge Israel's rights to exist. He told the militant group, which had at the time recently won Palestinian parliamentary elections, that Russia had never regarded it as a terrorist organization. A few days later, he invited Hamas leaders to Moscow. Putin was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. In white, it described as a clear-eyed recognition of the world as it is and of the most powerful individuals and forces shaping that world, for better or worse. The publication noted that Putin's then final year as president had been his most successful yet. Dmitry Medvedev was elected president of Russia on March 2. Hours after his inauguration, he appointed Putin as prime minister. Being the country's number two, Putin generated headlines and punchlines around the world by his photos of the Siberian tundra, swimming in a lake and riding horseback. In August, he was shown on television visiting the Volga city of Nizhny Novgorod, where he comforted victims of deadly wildfires that killed dozens and scorched millions of acres. He scolded local officials, offered financial compensation, and promised those who lost their homes that before winter, all the houses would be standing. Thousands of Russians took to the streets after December parliamentary elections with accusations of ballot stuffing and voter fraud that they feared would allow the ruling party to maintain control of the parliament's lower house. Putin accused the then U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton of stirring up the protesters. Putin won a third term as president on March 4 
amid complaints of election misconduct, he was sworn in May 7 as thousands of opponents protested across the country and hundreds of demonstrators were arrested. The Russian president penned a stinging open in the New York Times in which he directly appealed to the U.S. public to avoid forces against Syria. In the same year, he ended his dead-year marriage with his wife, Ludmila. Putin dispatched troops to Crimea and annexed the peninsula that had been Ukrainian territory since 1954. As punishment, the West slapped Moscow with sanctions. Putin responded by banning the imports of food and agricultural products from those countries chastising Russia. Putin ordered Russians' intervention into the war in Syria by launching airstrikes on anti-government strongholds, deploying specialized ground crew, and supplying Syrian forces with food, medical aid. The Russian president managed to throw Syrian President Bashar Assad and his government as political lifeline. Calling it utter nonsense, the Kremlin favored Republican then presidential candidates Donald Trump. Putin slammed down claims that Moscow was tampering with the U.S. presidential election. Does anybody seriously think that Russia can somehow influence the opinion of the American people? Is America some banana country? Putin asked a month before the U.S. election. On July 7, on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Germany, Putin met Trump for the first time in a meeting that was said to be cordial. At the end of the month, the Russian leader announced that they planned to toss out 755 staffers at U.S. diplomatic missions in Russia in retaliation for a package of new sanctions against Moscow. In early March, British Prime Minister Theresa May accused Putin's government of poisoning with a nerve agent, a former Russian spy living in England. She issued Moscow an ultimatum to explain its action or risk facing a range of economic and diplomatic measures. The Kremlin, which denied any involvement in the attack, missed the deadline, prompting the British government to announce the expulsion of 23 Russian diplomats. On Saturday, Moscow reciprocated, ordering the expulsion of 23 British diplomats from Russia. For more news and updates, log on to itvconnect.com and subscribe to our channel.